from the Eagles 46 yard line. They're gonna come out with three receivers, two to the the right of Smith, one to the left. Dice in the game at running back. Smith's gonna take this snap, gonna roll out to his left, pump fake, gonna throw it over the middle, finds a receiver, he gets it out to Jalen Hudson. He's gonna run it out of bounds at about the about the 20 yard line. Takes the ball down to the Florence 25 yard line. That's the Tiger. Enough for a first and 10. That's a great job by Mason Smith. Had a defender in his face to show the pump fake and made the defender jump. Gave him enough room to roll out of the pocket and make something happen. That's fun. Fresh set it down. Same formation. Going to hand it off to Dice. Dice going to take it up the middle. Looks like he has. About maybe nine yards on the carry. Zachary Dice, a freshman running back who's coming for a major way for the Tigers at different times of ball games this season. Really tough runner. Tigers come out with a three receiver set, two to the left, one to the right. Smith takes the snap, he's going to run it out. To his right, by Ansel Blocker, going to take it up the middle, cut it back, going to take a shot, but it's going to be taken down at about the, the eight yard line. It's a tough running by Mason Smith there. Going to be a, enough for a first down. The Tiger offense is really, really flowing right now at the start of the second quarter. Same formation, three receivers, two to the left, one to the right. Dice still in the game. Charlie Duxworth in the game now for Smith. He's going to hand it off to Dice. He takes it up the middle. He's going to get out to about the, the five-yard line. It's made the Smith have to come out of the game for a drive to put his helmet back on. Dice on the carry for the Tigers. Uh, Strickland's going to exit the game. A second goal from the five. Smith comes back in. Tigers threatening from the red zone with two receivers, with three receivers. Smith takes the snap, hands it off to Dice up the middle. Dice looking for blockers, but he's not really going to get past the line of scrimmage. Getting a little rain here in the jungle. Smith on the keeper. Going to get it down to the one yard line. It'll be fourth and goal for the Tigers. And yeah, they're going to go for it. Tiger's going to score. A handoff to Duxworth the up the middle. Gonna Tigers. The Tigers are going to get on the end zone with eight minutes left in the first half. Going to go for the point after, and it's going to be good. CSPAT is good. With eight, With eight minutes left in the first half, the, first half, the, the Tigers, Tigers seven, seven, the Eagles zero. The Eagles, Tigers get set to kick it off. Not sure if this rain is going to change game conditions here. It's pretty good pour down here in the jungle.
And Garcia kicks it off. It's going to be a high, short kick. It's going to be fielded by the Eagles at the 28-yard line. Well, that's where the Eagles are going to start first and 10. And again, the rain has decided to come down here in the jungle. A lot of umbrellas and running fans here escaping the stands. A lot of umbrellas and blankets here. So Florence. Offense takes the field, go with one running back, two flankers, a running back, and the Eagles are going to fumble the ball. And I see the, the rain has affected the, the game conditions here in the jungle. The Eagles do recover. There's going to be a loss of two. It's going to be second and 12 for the Eagles. Same formation, one receiver, two flankers, and a running back. Front goes in motion. Quarterback takes the snap. It's going to be another fumble on the plays. This rain is really affecting the snap for the Eagles. They'll bring up third down. Covered by the Eagles at their own 25 yard line. Ball was covered by the Eagles once third again. Down third, and, third down and 14 for the Eagles. But every time they fumble the ball, it takes seems like two yards, goes two yards backwards. This time the Eagles come out with a three receiver set. Gonna be a Diamond timeout on Florence. the field called by Florence. And with seven minutes left, in the first half, with the Eagles leading 7-0, we're going to step away for a moment to hear a word from our sponsors. This broadcast is brought to you by Scenic Productions, LLC, and fueled by the following. Flickers Tax Service. With tax season just around the corner, visit Flickers Tax Service in Taylorsville, Mississippi. Providing expert knowledge on all returns from 1040 EZs to corporations as well as payroll. Flickers Tax Service. Call 601-785-6900. Southeastern Baptist College. Empowering students to reach their spiritual, academic, and athletic potential. Discover the difference at your hometown college. Southeastern Baptist College. Equipping the Saints. And welcome back to the broadcast. The third down. The Eagles hand it off to the running back. He takes it up the middle. No fumble on the exchange this time. It's going to get it out just past the 30-yard line, maybe down to about the 33-yard line. They're going to bring up fourth down. The Eagles bring on their punt unit. To Candace Jones back to receive for the Tigers. And the raining is getting harder here in the jungle. It's going to be a pretty high kick. It's going to take a nice, deep bounce. It's going to bounce back to about the 14-yard line. It's a long way to go for the Tigers in pouring down raining conditions here in the jungle. Football fans are Northeast Jones FFA is selling raffle tickets to raffle off a drill. That grill will be given away Along with the rain is bringing a little like windshield here tonight. To, to enter the raffle, go down to the south end of the stadium and see our FFA members. And it makes it just ticket for only $1. That raffle will be a half time tonight. And the official time out for heat break. Officials are taking time out for a heat break. I'm not sure it's really not that hot here considering the windshield that's blowing through, but the Tigers get set up on offense going with a three-receiver set. 
Mason Smith going with the hard count. Again, is going to draw the offense offside. Flag on the play. Ball is going to be moved up five yards. Takes it about. Placed at the 20 yard line. Five yard penalty. First down and five. First and five for the Tigers. Same three receiver set. Two to the left of Smith, one to the right. Dutchworth is going to move from the left to the right. Smith wastes the snap, gets a hand off, takes a hand off to Dutchworth, finds the open, going to keep it himself. Being slung around by defenders, but still up on his feet. He's going to be pushed out of bounds at about the 38 yard line. So Smith's not showing the same struggle as the Eagles showed, of not being able to get a hand on the ball. It was a good, good center quarterback exchange between the two. Offense lines up, quarterback with his net, hands it off to Dutchworth again, trying to wiggle his way. And as wiggly as Dutchworth is, it's probably even harder to tackle now. He's already tough and wiggled his way through the line. Now he's slippery due to the rain. But we're gonna see if this rain can work to the, the Eagles, I'm sorry, the Tigers advantage. Mason Smith is off to the races. Looks like he's not going to be caught. He's down. Down and in the end zone. Great job, Mason Smith. Excuse me, guys, for missing the, the exchange. I was trying to protect myself here from the rain that I'm covered in the electronics here, so I don't want to get shocked so I can't bring you a broadcast. But Mason Smith took off on about the, the 80 yard touchdown run. 65 yard I'm sorry, 65-yard touchdown run. So obviously this rain is not affecting the Tigers' offense in any way at the moment. Let's hope it stays that way. Jason Garcia on to attempt the point after. Timeout, the Tigers are going to call a timeout. And 428. Remaining in the first half, the Tigers leading 7-0, to zero. well, pending the Jason Garcia field goal, or extra point, it could be turning into 14-0. to zero. That was going to be a little wobbly, but it's going to be good. So with 420 remaining in the first half, Northeast Jones Tigers 14, the Florence Eagles 0. And after the score, we're going to be back. If we hear a few words from my sponsor. Having AC issues? Does your vehicle no longer drive like new? Head on over to Keys Automotive in Laurel. Keys Automotive specializes in repairing foreign and domestic vehicles. Keys Automotive. Located at 623 Arco Lane in Laurel or call Charles Keys at 601-649-0517. And welcome back to the broadcast as the Tigers just kicked off to the Eagles. And the Eagles fumbled on the play and they turn it back over to the Tigers. And this rain is the pour down here in the jungle and 